Greetings Indie Warriors, we are heading into April, the weather is changing, and the indie game releases are really heating up now. But before we get into all those great releases that you can anticipate for the first week of April, we want to take a moment to thank our great indie sponsor for this week, Wilkin Games. Dinogen Online is a top-down multiplayer shooter with, you guessed it, dinosaurs! Roar! Sorry, I really love dinosaurs, especially that old TV show, remember that? Dino Gin Online is currently in early access, and you can play it right now for the price of free. That's right, not a single dino penny. Dino Gin Online features tons of weapons, game modes, and plenty of maps to battle across. You can take control of the humans, but why would you want to do that? Play as the dinosaurs! There is a team deathmatch mode, destruction, and of course, capture the flag. Or you might fancy yourself some survival where you take down endless waves of enemies. Dinogen Online even features a scenario editor so you can create your own maps and missions. Everything created within this powerful editor can be used right away to play with your friends online. So with tons of weapons to unlock, so many dang maps, a rank progression system, and online multiplayer with the option to play with bots, bite into Dinogen Online today! It's juicy like a shark bite, but with dinosaurs. Uh, that didn't really make any sense. But I hope to see you all on the leaderboard soon. But for now, it's on to the indies. Once again, a very special thank you to Wilkin Games for sponsoring this week's video. Well then, I guess you could say April is starting off in a bit of a crabby mood. Crab Champions enters early access and is a third-person shooter with rogue elements where various crabs battle it out. The game is run-based with runs lasting about 20 to 40 minutes each, and you can crab it out with three other players if you so wish. No loot boxes or any nonsense here. Music to my ears. Another title enters early access on the 3rd of April, we have Spiritfall, a 2D action roguelite where smashing and wall bashing is the name of the game. With tight platform fighting combat, randomly generated maps, and tons of abilities and characters, this looks like one indie worth keeping an eye on. From Spirit Fall to Brinefall, no, I can't make this stuff up, folks. Brinefall is an action RPG with a massive open world to be explored. Take down enemies, gather loot, and expand and protect your village in this giant-sized adventure also launching on the 3rd. Gonna be two fall games that day, I guess. Time to meet your maker, that's right, base building strategy game Meet Your Maker is up next, a game that can be played solo or with a friend where you'll create dangerous mazes of doom. In this dying world, your job is to keep out the trespassers with an assortment of traps, and this game has very deep customization options and a vast progression system. Certainly looks like a nice change of pace. Cells and stone and steel, raising fortresses to stop any raider foolish enough to enter. But look closer, and you will find that no two builders are exactly alike. Take this example. I call them maze makers. These builders weave their outposts like a loom, spinning labyrinths to torment and confound, luring their prey deeper into the abyss until escape is nigh. 
Discover your inner artist in Passepartout 2, The Lost Artist. This explorative indie has you creating and selling art in a town full of puppets. Gain new tools and make that money. I love the visual style of this game, but I must say the temptation to draw ASCII dicks is pretty strong. Canvas. It's endless possibilities and the potential to make something entirely unique. The sequel, or prequel, to Road 96 is launching on the 4th, Road 96 Mile Zero. The first game was a hitchhiker simulator of sorts that I personally enjoyed, and the sequel looks to do much of the same while adding more musical-based challenges and fun-timed events. I'm personally looking forward to hitting the road again, plus the theme songs by The Midnight, which is freaking awesome. I love that band. Set to make a big announcement. Maybe I left you a long time ago and neither of us knew it. Would they say I... See, you were at the wall in 86. You saw all that go down. You need to talk to somebody before all that eats you up inside. Next is Wall World, a tower defense title with a heavy emphasis on mining. Each mine is procedurally generated and you'll use tons of different upgrades to gather resources. Plenty of combat and building to be done here as well and the pixel art is looking sharp. Fend off monsters while creating an epic fortress in Necro City, a strategy city builder with a dark thematic tone. You play as the Prince of the Undead, using ghouls to do your dirty work and defend your outposts. The game will also feature tons of allies that can join you and friends which can be acquired, all with unique skills of their own. From the makers of Curse of the Dead Gods comes Raven's Watch, next an action roguelike that gives off some Diablo vibes. You'll need to take down various nightmares as a team, though the game can be played in single player, collecting treasures and gaining levels in hopes of surviving. Keep it locked to iDream of Indie Games for even more coverage of Raven's Watch. Towers of challenges, both in solo and in four player co-op. Find the best combination of heroes, each with their own intricacies, and make those synergies count as the challenge scales with the number of players. Join now and follow us along the journey of making the next roguelike jet. Farming Sim fans wait no longer as Song of the Prairie hits early access on the 6th. Grow fruits and other types of crops in a peaceful town while breeding animals in a cozy area. Create your own character and form deep relationships with your neighbors. It's a farm sim, you kinda know what to expect. Yet another throwback to the 90s, a 90s shooter is up next, Supplice enters early access and it looks great. Retro graphics, fast gunplay, blood and gore, where do I sign up for this one?
Take control of Ludovic in puzzle platformer The Library of Babel. Taking place in a futuristic Babylon and inspired by a short story, you are a seeker attempting to solve a murder. The game has tons of environments and secrets with a management system based off of 90s graphic adventures. I think this looks lovely and hopefully the platforming feels good too. Well, we all need a little bit of oxygen to survive, right? Oxygen is up next, a game that's set in a post-apocalyptic world. Deal with dangerous winds and storms while building a city and keeping your people safe. It's all about survival and saving the things you love. Even dead trees can be revived if you're persistent. Ahoy me mateys, last game for this week, Curse of the Sea Rats, launches on the 6th. This is a game that you can check out the full review for right now here at I Dream of Indie Games. Link is in the description box below. Choose from one of four sea rats going it solo or enjoy co-op play with up to three other players in this swashbuckling Ratroidvania. Saturday morning cartoon fans should have great appreciation for the art of this one. That's gonna do it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in for yet another episode of Upcoming Indies right here at I Dream of Indie Games. Help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming at patreon.com slash I Dream of Indie Games and we will defeat the game gaming echo chamber together. See you all on the channel for more great content headed your way next week.